Let's look at how to make photorealistic landscapes with Kraken. With the camera in place, I'll open Kraken, add a text prompt, choose the Kino XL model with Alchemy on, and select Photography from the list of fine tuning styles. This is looking good, but looks like it's missing the tree I wanted in my image. Let's go back and adjust the lighting and see if that helps. I'll use the same settings as before. Okay, I'm still not getting that tree, so I'll increase the image strength to tell Kraken to use more of my image as guidance. Here we go. Increasing the image strength helped me get that tree in the final image. But I'll go back to 3D and change the position of my camera so the trees get more contrast to make it easier for Kraken to detect. Let's run it again and see. Nice, this time I'm getting both trees in my image. I like these settings, so now let's try a different angle. So let's go back to 3D and change the camera. Just as I would if I were in the real world with a camera, I'll look around for an interesting shot. That looks promising. This time I'll change the model to Diffusion XL and the Fine Tuner to Environment. That's pretty good. I want to try one more thing. I want to get a picture of an old cabin in the desert, so I'll look for a 3D model of a house and drop it in my scene. Let's adjust the framing a bit and open Kraken one more time. I'll add a cabin to my text prompt, select the Kino XL model, and let's use the Photography Fine Tuner again. Excellent, let's try again, but this time I'll increase the image strength to 37%. Not bad, but let's try again. I'll use Diffusion XL now. I recommend you continue generating images once you're getting the results you're looking for. That way you'll find inspiration for your next images. I hope this tutorial was helpful. See you next time.